Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim Test Demi. We're back live and direct, and here on tutorial 13, we're going to continue our test automation for beginners using Selenium WebDriver, and we're going to talk about dictionaries next. In the previous videos, few videos, we looked at the data type called list. And when list, again, if you haven't watched it, please go back and watch those videos. A list is simply a container where we put a variety of different kind of items. It can be strings, it can be integers, it can be floating points, etc. Now, when it comes to dictionaries, it's another data type which we can use in our Python code when we run Selenium scripts. There are a lot of great advantages that you're going to see that we can use these advanced data types. I want to really encourage you to pay attention, take notes, type along so you can be great and we can make great moves. All right. So let's jump into uh, the dictionary data type. One thing you want to keep in mind when it comes to uh, dictionaries is that dictionaries use what's called like a key and value pair which I already have listed up here right uh, it's what consider lookup consider the lookup so for example you want to look up items right in a dictionary based on the key that will give you the value for example if you have a dictionary and the name of the dictionary let's say it's called Tim right so uh, you can say what's Tim's address so the key here in this case uh, under the dictionary named Tim the key will be uh, address and the value will be actually my address. Let's say my address is 123 Main Street. That's not where I live, but as an example. Another example is uh, uh, favorite food. So we say favorite food as the key, and the actual food would actually be listed as a value. So that's an example of lookups uh, with dictionaries. Keep in mind that dictionaries are built-in containers for storing objects. Like I said, uh, you can store a variety of items in there, which we're going to look at. And it, uh, like I mentioned, you use what's called a like key value pair uh, when you look at dictionaries. Dictionaries are mutable. In other words, uh, just the value, for example, uh, when you're looking at the key value pair address, that's the key. The actual address, 123 Main Street, that's mutable. When we're talking about mutables, like we looked at list, that can be changed or altered, right? But the key itself is immutable. So keep that in mind when you're looking at dictionaries as a whole, perhaps for an interview question, right? As a whole, dictionaries are mutable, but within that dictionary, as far as the key value pair is concerned, the key is immutable. You can't change the key, but you can change, all right, uh, the actual values. All right. One more thing you have to keep in mind when you're looking at dictionaries is that dictionaries uh, do not store objects in specific order. So if you mentioned, remember when we looked at list, when we stored different items, right? In that uh, list, when we print it out to the screen, it's always printed out in the same specific order. When you're looking at dictionary, it normally changes the order when, uh, that is printed out. So I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, first thing I want you to keep in mind is when you're looking at a dictionary to actually initialize a new dictionary, you want to understand that the actual syntax is the open and close curly brackets. Okay. So we're going to call a dictionary here. We're going to say this dictionary is called, let's say, uh, we're going to say uh, person. We're just going to call this dictionary person. And we're going to begin to give this uh, its key. So the key here is the first key here is going to be name. It's actually going to be name. And let's see. We're going to give the name. We're going to say the name is John. All right. John Smith. All right. So that's the actual value. Okay. John Smith is a value. All right. And this is just a way of writing our code to be cleaner when I'm actually hitting these um, uh, on different lines. Right. Just putting this on different lines. Just a way to make it cleaner. So we're going to say the address. Address of John, uh, we're going to say is uh, 123 Main Street. Okay. Put a comma there. We're just going to put one more bit of information about John. We're going to say um, uh, business, right? Let's say the business. Put that in the key. The business is the key. So we can go back and look up the information. Uh, business and the actual business name is... Um, uh, it's called a 321 Corp. All right, 321 Corp is the name of the business. All right, um, put a comma there. And that's our dictionary. So we have a dictionary created. So what we want to do here is, as you can see, I already have some um, uh, template created here for just make it easier for our code. So now the first thing we want to do, let's print, let's go ahead and print this person dictionary uh, so you guys can see as a dictionary. So this is creating a basic dictionary, uh, which is a basic lookup. Uh, one moment. Okay, you can see it up here at the top, right? And part of my, um, these are just my uh, demarcations which we're going to use for a, a latter part of our code. Uh, so you can see here, the name of the dictionary, the name is John Smith. The address is 123 Main Street. The business is a 321 Corp. So that's our dictionary. Great. It puts that in a, a actual dictionary there. All right, let's look at some, some more things about dictionaries here. Um, 
I want to do what's called a lookup on the key to get the value. Like I mentioned, if you look at a, uh, and I looked at the dictionary example, I said, uh, for example, a dictionary named Tim, the actual key is address, and the value is actually the address 123 Main Street. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to say, uh, we're going to say person, okay, which is the actual dictionary name, and we're actually going to pass a value uh, within it. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's pass the value. What do we want to pass? Let's pass. Uh, let's pass uh, address. So you guys can kind of just see that, right? Uh, we're gonna pass the address. All right. And let's actually print this. Make it easier. And da, 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 da. let's print this out. And here we go. Right. So you can see the address that we passed here is the 123 Main Street. So that was the actual, so address here was the actual key and the actual value was 123 Main Street. Uh, we can do the same thing. This time, let's just print a person. That's a dictionary. Pass the value here, which is going to actually be the name. So again, you're always passing the key. You're looking up the key to actually get the value. All right, so we're going to do that there. You can see John Smith. You can see the John Smith. Uh, the name correlates with the name uh, key. 123 Main, 123 Main Street correlates with the address key. All right, so finally here, uh, we're going to do one more. Uh, we're going to do person. We're also going to pass the value. And this value here is going to be the business, right? So that's the key. And let's get let's get John Smith's. So, if, for example, you have a secretary or someone, a uh, uh, program, program you write, you say, hey, what's uh, John Smith's uh, actual business? To go up and look it up. And it brings it up. Oh, the business name is 321 Corp. So you have the look up there. All right. Uh, the other thing you want to keep in mind with dictionaries, like I mentioned, dictionaries are mutable. Uh, so, um, again, like I mentioned, the keys are mutable. Uh, excuse me, the keys are immutable. So in this case, again, the key here, name, you can't change this, uh, but the actual value is immutable. You can actually change it. All right. So uh, in this case, we want to go ahead and add a key value pair to this. Uh, so we're going to say person. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, add a key value pair. Let's say let's let's add the. Um, uh, let's add here, uh, the city, right? Uh, uh, let's ask like the city that he lives in. Let's, let's look for, um, city, right? So we're going to add city. Uh, we're going to add city and we're going to say city. Let's say they live in, uh, Chicago. All right. Let's see you look in Chicago. All right. So we're going to do here. We're now, we're going to actually go ahead and print. Let's go ahead and print this, right? So remember, this is the person dictionary where actually, since it's, it's mute, immutable, we can actually add a new key here, city, and a new value, uh, which is Chicago. All right, so we have that. And let's go ahead and print out person. So let's go ahead and check this out here. Uh, and if you notice here, we have our original key value pairs, name, address, business with their uh, corresponding values. And now you can see the new key value that we added here, which was city, Chicago for John Smith. All right. Uh, the other thing we want to do here is um, now. So if I say let's just print, let's just print person. Uh, let's print the city. So you guys can just see what we just added here. I uh, can just print that. And it's just going to print just that new key value pair, which is Chicago, the city, and uh, which is the key and the value Chicago. All right. So another thing you want to do is uh, you can use what's called the in keyword when it comes to uh, dictionary. So uh, like we looked at with list, you can you can look up a particular key value pair and see, okay, is this key actually in this actual um, dictionary? So let's do print, uh, print person dictionary. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's do, uh, so we're going to, uh, let's look up the name, right? So we're going to say, um, let's look up uh, Tim. Let's say Tim in, uh, actually it's not Tim, sorry. Let's look up, uh, uh, we're going to look up name. Because that's what we have it, right? Let's go back and see. So we see name, right? Name is our key. You want to look up by the key. So we're going to say uh, name in, so which is going to be the person uh, dictionary, right? So now you want to print that. What's going to do is actually going to print the actual value of that name. All right? So it says true. Sorry, it's not going to print the value. It's going to say if it's true or false, right? So in this case, it's true. Uh, same thing here. So now if I go, uh, how do I verify that? So let me go ahead and print our person dictionary and you're going to see obviously we know that right we've been looking at that throughout you can see the name john smith so it is true that this name key does exist uh if you say for example if you call this one let's say uh we say 
uh, state. No, keep in mind, we don't have a, a state key within this person dictionary. And if we try to print this state in person is going to be false, right? Because it does not exist. See, because you don't see it in this key value pair for this person dictionary. All right, so let's go ahead and change that back. Uh, what we want to do also here is we can also do the not in keyword. So the not in keyword to see if the key is actually in the dictionary. It's pretty much the same process. Uh, we're going to say uh, this time, let's use uh, the, the new key we added. We're going to say city. All right, not in uh, city, uh, not in the person dictionary, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do this also. Let's go ahead and print like we did for the last one. Let's go ahead and print person, person dictionary. And you're going to see here uh, it's false, right? Because city is in. It says city is not in person, but the city is Chicago, right? The key value pair. Uh, one thing we can also do, we can do what's the what's called the delete keyword. You can, excuse me, you can delete a keyword uh, of a key value pair. So what you want to do is you want to do delete. Um, and let's say, what do you want to delete here? So let's do person. And let's go ahead and delete. Um, let's go ahead and delete uh pardon me I want to do person let's go ahead and delete um let's go ahead and delete city right let's go ahead and delete this and let's go ahead and print uh let's go ahead and print delete sorry let's go ahead and print uh uh we're going to print the person. So we're going to actually delete the city key, which is also going to delete the value, which is uh, Chicago. And we're now going to um, print out the new person dictionary. Right. So if you notice it here, uh, you can see the same value, key value pairs, name, address and business. But if you notice from the last time we had uh, city uh, key value Chicago, but it's not printed now, you don't see because it actually was deleted. All right. So that's uh, pretty much it for. A lot of the actual basics of dictionaries um, on the next video we're going to look at some of the methods you can actually apply uh, remember like the pop method the copy method and a variety of other methods you can use when working with dictionaries in Python which is going to help you use Selenium scripts uh, one thing I want to show you guys when we talked about um, um, dictionaries uh, uh, values being immutable what we can do is we can actually change the change the actual uh, value right so we can change the value we can change the value of a of a key key value pair value pair in a dictionary so let me let me just show you how that's done because this, this might be something key in case you want to change the actual value because you mentioned it's mutable right it's immutable uh, you know excuse me it's mutable the actual key so what do we want to do here? Uh, so we want to do print. Uh, actually, let's not do print yet. Let's just do um, person. And so we're going to change the city. So let's say he moves his business. And uh, let's say he moves his business to, um, um, let's say, Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah, let's say uh, Dallas, right? So Dallas, Texas. So they moved their city to Dallas. So let's now print. Uh, let's now print the new dictionary out. And you're going to see here. Um, let's do this. Let me just add this line here. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to do print. So you guys can see this, uh, print person dictionary. We're going to actually change the value, right? So change the value. Sorry. Change the value of the city. Of the city. Uh, of the city, which is actually here, you're changing the actual, uh, yeah, change the value of the city. All right, so you're not going to print it out. You're not going to print new city out. Print new person dictionary value. Dictionary key value pair. Key value pair. All right. So now you're going to see the city will change from. Chicago, which the business was originally um, located, and now they've moved their business to Dallas, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, print this out. You can see here, um, under this uh, last bit of, bit of code we wrote, uh, the value pair was, um, oh, actually, we deleted it, sorry. So uh, in this case, they added it. So yeah, so we added that. So let, let's do this. Great. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so it actually added it. So let's go ahead and um, now change it. 
All right, so let's now change this. Uh, let's change this to uh, um, uh, well, cities are escaping my mind. Let, let's change this to Austin, Texas, right? So they have moved to Austin. Sorry, guys, it's pretty something simple. Um, as you can see here, the value um, was you can see it was actually originally sorry, <laughs> sorry guys. Here we go. Let's print. Then we're gonna print it again. So you're gonna see the change here. All right, see it? That's what I was trying to print out there. So you can see, uh, actually, we can ignore this guy. You can go ahead and ignore that. And let's print that one more time. Pardon me. All right, here we go. So we can see um, the key value pair was Dallas. But now the, the uh, location or the actual value for that city changed to Austin because we actually assigned the city key a new value because this it, it is mutable. But the actual key itself is immutable. So now when we print that out, uh, you can see the latest location. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I want you to practice, practice, practice. Play with this. Change your values. Uh, you can start off with an empty dictionary. So if you want to have an empty dictionary, uh, you can do this. Uh, empty dictionary. And I want you to actually go ahead and put values in or create your own dictionary. Like create your own dictionary, whatever you want to create, right? Um, so you can have like empty dictionary. Empty dictionary, right? And this is going to be the value. Uh, open, you know, you've initialized it. You can go ahead and print empty dictionary. Um, Let's go ahead and print this out here. And you're going to notice, right, so we're going to print out an empty dictionary. Right, so empty dictionary was printed out. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and begin to add values to it. So add values to empty dictionary. Yeah, I want to give you guys as many options as possible. Add values to empty dictionary, right? All right, so go ahead and add value. So you can say, like we mentioned earlier, you can do empty dictionary. Uh, you can say um, number, uh, first number. You call it first num, right? Um, and you go ahead and assign that to integer one. For example, you can use integers within there. Uh, you can say empty dictionary. You can call this um, second number, All right? Go ahead and assign a value and go ahead and print that out. Uh, let's see. Oops, sorry. I used curly brackets. It should be square brackets. And now you can go ahead and just print out your dictionary. And you're going to see your dictionary went from being empty to now having some value. So go ahead and print that out. And you're good. You add an empty dictionary. You added values. Key. First underscore num value one. Second underscore num value two. So that's it, guys. We're finally done. Practice, practice, practice. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to testdemi.com. Subscribe to our YouTube page. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Much love. Peace. Stay up.